Monday, everybody. <clears throat> Excuse me. You can tell for the title. I'm doing a couple unboxings, but I'm doing it. I actually took everything out of the box because I didn't want to, you know, bring the box, you know, because of everything that's going on. And I wiped down the books in here real good. And I put everything that was from Bay Crate. I finally got my Bay Crate for um, February. The Bite Me one. I think that's what the one for February was. I know it had something to do with vampires, so I think it was Bite Me. And I also got my Ruthless Guides book by Emily A. Duncan that Al Crate did a special edition of. So yeah, I don't know what's in here because I just dumped it in here and didn't look. And we're just going to grab and go by there. But if you guys are new to my channel, hi, I'm Lori, and welcome to Lori's Book Trials. Okay, so we're just going to grab. So I can grab this. So this one was something that was replaced. We were supposed to get like a little cute jewelry, like a little mini jewelry type thing, you know. But um, it was coming from another country and it was taking forever and they wanted to, um, <coughs> excuse me, they wanted to, um, you know, give it to us because, you know, it was supposed to be, we were supposed to get it in February and we're still waiting, we were still waiting. So they did this one because they could get it from the U.S. And it's the Slayer, it's a Slayer bag. It says survival kit. Slayer is going to slay. So that's what we got in place. I like that. It's nice and big. It's, it's got the little straps here. This would be awesome for when we go, when me and my kids and my hubby go, um, well, if you're going to call it, um, camping. Then we got this. Not really sure. This could be for I'm not sure. <laughs> so we got that. I'll find the card. Let me see if I can find the card. I don't want I'm trying not to get spoiled. Here we go. February theme bite me. I was right. Let me see if I can find it. Oh god, it's so what you call it to find stuff. I can't. Uh, I'll look at it when I'm done. Then we got let's see. I'm trying not to do the books until last. That's the um, one of the character cards. I'll show it to you when I get to the books. I'm trying to get to the stuff that's down here. Um, lip gloss. It says Dragon's Long Lasting Lip Gloss. Cute. I like that. Hope it's a color that I like that I can use because a lot of colors I can't don't look good on me. I'm trying to get to stuff. <laughs> Let me make sure. And we got this. It's a star mask. Not really sure. It says star moisturizing tearing mask. Hmm. It's a moisturizer mask. Interesting. And then I think one more thing and then the books. Because there's two books. I'm trying to get to it because this is the one that kept, like, um, didn't want to come out of the box. And don't worry, when I am done, I'm going to go wash my hands and everything. So, but we got this bracelet. It says, bite me on it. I don't know if you guys can see that. I don't want to take it out of the paper, but. Well, I guess I could take it out of the paper, and then I could throw that paper away. But, I don't know if you'll be able to see it, but right here it says, on there it says, Bite me. There you go. There it is. Bite me, it says. <laughs> I actually like this box better than the one I got for March. I think that's it. That's all I got. I know some people were going to get, like, hand sanitizer. I wasn't one of the lucky ones. <laughs> but, oh well, that's okay. And, I don't know. Did I get only one character art? Because usually you get two. I don't know. But anyways, we got two signed book plates. So now you know who the author is. <laughs> I don't know which one's which, because we got book one and two. I'm not sure which is which. Um... I don't know. Wicked Bite and Shades of Wicked. 
I'm not sure. I don't see a, a thing saying which is which. I don't know. In this thrilling new series set in where Ian finally meets his match. And in the newest there are both set in. Okay, I'm not sure which one's which. Maybe you'll tell me on the on the um, spoiler card which book's which. It says um um uh, hmm I don't know which book is which. <laughs> Uh, maybe Shades of the Shade one? Well, I don't know. But anyways, we got Shades of Wicked um, by Jeannie Frost. I was going to read to you what it was about, but I don't know which one's which, and I don't want to get spoiled. Because both of them have the, um, her name and his name, so I'm thinking this one is it. I think this one's first. And the second one is called, like I said, Wicked Bite. So I'll read this one to you. It says, Master, the rule breaker, Master Vampire Ian is unrepentant, shameless, and every shade of wicked. He's made one too many enemies in his two centuries of existence, including Dragon. A demon who now lays claim to his soul. Ian's only chance to escape Dragon, Dragon or Dragon, I don't know, is to join forces with a law garden Garden, garden, law garden, but he's never been able to abide by the rules for long. The lawmaker, Vatret, Ver, Veritas, Veritas, something like that. Normal rule is police, judge, and jury to reprobate like Ian, but she has her own axe to grind with Dragon. So if she can use Ian as bait, well, all's fair in law and war. As they score supernatural hotspots to perfect, I mean to perf to perf perfect their traps, Ver Veritas soon realizes Ian's carefully cultivated devil may care rookish, 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 sorry, rookish image hides something much more powerful, and Ian discovers Veritas has shock and seekers of her own as they are drawn. To each other with a passion as intense as their peril. Either love or justice will prevail. But each will have devastating consequences. It does kind of sound interesting. I know I've read some of her books. Like I never finished it. But I read the one with Cat and um, Bone. Kate and Cat? Yeah, Cat and Bone. I think this one might be first. This is so confusing. I think I read to you guys in the wrong way. No, because it says different ones. It says Wicked All Night. And the other one said Wicked. I mean, then the other one said um, Wicked Promises. And none of these are that. So, I don't know. <laughs> I'm confused. <laughs> But we'll just say this one is the first one. So. It has to be this one has to be first. I'll look it up. But there is Jean. So those are the books. I'm going to put these right back in here. Because I'm going to put them back. In the dark. But um. They still have um. They said this is a um. Supposed to be a, 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 a you know, um, thing for your uh, shawl. I guess this is supposed to be a shawl. I guess they just did it that way for it, it wouldn't be what you call it. I don't know. But anyways, it says, um, blood red lipstick. Accidentally take a bite out of your date. This lipstick is the perfect shade for any indelicate stain. And then the face mask, which is over there, I'm not going to grab it, says, um, 
stay youthful and sparkly like some of our favorite vampires with this wonderful Korean beauty face mask. And then the next one says, bite me cuff bracelet. Channel your inner sassy vampire hunter with this bite me metal cuff bracelet and scarf. Says, did you did your vamp get a little snippy this morning? No worries. This elegant scarf is perfect to hide the evidence at work or for play. And then what we were supposed to get was the jury thing. Left your favorite crucifix at home. Never be caught without again with this handy jewelry travel case. So that's what we were supposed to get. But we got, like I said, the back. Which I don't mind. You know, it would have been nice to have the, what you call it, you know. But I'm trying to get this on done I can see what it looks like because it's a scarf that's what it says a scarf so but that's what it it's just a pink scarf so of course I'm going to put this in for I can wash it before I wear it. So that's going to go in to be washed. The rest of the stuff I'm going to put in. But I guess because it's only one, you will I mean, because, you know, it's a, you know, it's a part of the series, you only get one. If it would have been, like, two separate books, then you probably would have got two. But that's what the couple, Ian and, um, now I forgot what the girl's name is, but Ian and the girl looks like. It says, um, I've always loved pair. Dear readers, I've always loved pairing opposites together because what truly matters goes by and by beyond appearances, doesn't it? Take my hero and heroine in Wicked Bite. Okay, Wicked Bite is the first one. Okay. Okay. Oh, I did it wrong. Yeah. So actually, I should have read this one first <laughs> to you guys. But oh well. And says, um, on the surface, Master Vampire Ian is hell-raising slut, excuse my language, but that's what it says, who'd rather be dead, dead, than Mary and Veritas, looks like an icy under yielding law garden. But scratch that surface and you'll find two soulmates who share fairest loyalty, bad ass abilities, and blushing I mean, blistering passion. So dive into Wicked Bites to see how love doesn't just overcome differences. It also embraces and celebrates them. Thank you so much for reading. I hope you love Wicked Bites. So I guess Wicked Bites is the first one. So I read it to you guys. Well, sorry. Oh, well. But there's that. I already showed you that. And I already showed you that. And that is it in that one. I'm going to put these after I'm done doing this. I'm going to put these back in to isolation for a little bit. And then I will show you the Rufus God stuff. Of course, I already opened it. This is from Owl Crate, of course. So, this is the pin, because you always get a pin. I'm going to take it out for you guys to see it better. So I want to take it out of the paper anyways, where I can throw the paper away right away. It says, um, Betrayal serves itself. Oh, great. Oh, look at how gorgeous. I love that pen. That's so beautiful. And of course, this is, um, first one was Wicked Saints. So this is a continuation, the next book in the Wicked Saints. This thing is heavy. But this is what it looks, the special edition one looks like. I love it. Look at that. Hey, there's a house. Because what you call it's doing, um, what are they called? Uh, Rita Rush is doing a um, readathon this weekend, I think it is. Stay at home readathon. I think it's like a three day one. And I think one of the prompts is read something that has a house on the cover. And that definitely has houses. So, oh my gosh, this is like sliding. Mm -hmm. This is what it looks like here. Now I already looked at this, so I already know what it looks like. But there's that. There's that. I'll read to you what it says in a minute. But look. It's got, what do you call it on the back? But, oh, I love it. 
I can't read to you what it's about because it's the next one in the series. So I want to show you what it looks like on this side. And that's what the rest looks like. I'll read to you what it says here. It says, darkness never works alone. Ruthless gods. Look at that blood. Ooh. Emily A. Duncan. This is uh, Okay, I don't want to read that because that will spoil it. But I, I, I'm trying to get to uh, the stuff. This is where it's signed. Because I stuck everything into one spot in here. It says, this this signed first edition is printed exclusively for Owlcrate. And there's, of course, my favorite thing, a map. I'm debating if I should read uh, Wicked Saints first, reread Wicked Saints, but I'm not sure. But that's what it looks like. It says, Wicked Saints served ruthless gods in one of the most anticipated sequel. Wicked Saint, yeah. Wicked Saints served ruthless gods in one of the most anticipated sequels of the year. Rusus Gods opens the door to the world of fallen gods in Elric, Elridge, Eldric horrors. Rusus Gods will leave Feon's demand in the final installment. So if you like Wicked Saints and you want more of everything, the, the sequel, Ruthless, Ruthless Gods takes the monstrous romance to a whole new height. Get ready. <laughs> That's what it says there. And we got this. This was the, um, like if you pre-ordered it. So that's what you're getting. It gorgeous. Like, look at the sparkling in there. Like when you turn it, you can see it in there. So beautiful. And this says, this is like the little um, spoiler card. It says, um, Thank you so much for ordering this Owl Crate exclusive signed edition of Ruthless Gods by Emily A. Duncan. It says author on the back, I mean artwork on the back of the dust jacket by Dear or Drear D R I Gomez. It says exclusive enamel pin designed by Alchemy and Ink. Happy reading. So this is so love that it's so sparkly but i didn't get a um reader um like a i guess maybe they didn't give you one for this one you know an author like how sometimes they'll do like an author when they'll give you the thing for the author author note like they did in the um, bakery one but look at that that's what she looks like i love though this part i gotta show it one more time because i just think this is gorgeous King of Moths, King of Blood, King of Horrors. I just love that. That is neat. But yep, those are what came today. I'll be getting a few more books this week. But I'm done with my unboxings. Um, I'm only getting an Owl Crate this month. I didn't order um, Bay Crate for April, but I will be getting May's Bay Crate. So... So this month you'll just get an owl crate one. But I cannot wait to read this. Like I just love this. And it goes, the other one has this too. So I know it go it'll go good together. So I'm so excited for this book. But that is it. Let me know what your favorite thing was in the bite me box. Bite bait crate. I would say mine is the bracelet. I just love the bracelet. It's so gorgeous. And I like how it says bite me on it. And then I would say maybe the lip stuff. I don't know. I'll have to test it out later because it goes good with my hair though, doesn't it? <laughs> but I'm going to let you guys go. Yeah, let me know down below. And let me know what book you are most excited for to read this month. Have you already read the book that you're most excited for this month? And did it live up to your expectations? Let me know. I will talk to you guys all in the next one. Remember, if you like this video, thumbs up. Please think about subscribing and become part of my family. I love you guys very much. I hope you guys do subscribe. And if you do, remember to hit that bell icon so you'll know whenever a video of mine is up for your viewing pleasures. You guys all have a great Monday. By the time you see this, it'll probably be Wednesday. And you guys are great.
and I hope you guys are staying safe. Bye for now.